Malaysia's Civil Aviation Authority has blamed last week's rapid descent of Malaysia Airlines flight MH2664 on a malfunctioning pitot-static system causing a quote-unquote technical issue. The Boeing 737-800 was en route from Kuala Lumpur to Tuor Sabah when it diverted back to KL. While cruising at 30,000 feet, the jet made a sudden rapid descent which one passenger described as a dive that lasted around 10 minutes. The aircraft was grounded after diverting back to KUL via a circuitous route, possibly to burn off fuel and lighten its weight. According to FlightRadar24.com, the 8-year-old Boeing 737-800 has not operated since the April 3rd flight. Aviation safety expert and former FAA accident investigator Mike Daniel told Simple Flying that it's not unusual for pitot-static systems to become blocked due to insects or minor dent damage, adding, They should always be checked during pre-flight. However, from the ground, they are hard to physically check close up for damage or obstruction. On Sunday, April 10th, the Civil Aviation Authority of Malaysia, or CAAM, issued a statement saying that based on the examination of the flight data recorder, the technical issue that occurred during the flight was due to a malfunction of the pitot-static system. In the statement, CAAM CEO Chester Vu said, This malfunction produced a false speed indication on board, resulting in the aircraft pitching up and deactivating the autopilot. In response to this, the pilot in command's immediate and correct reaction was to regain positive control of the aircraft. The corrective measures resulted in pitch and altitude changes that corresponded with the pilot's report and the passenger's experience on board. Although reports of bad weather may have resulted in a shaky flight, the crew's swift action was vital to keeping the aircraft under the pilot's control and based on the accurate indications from other instruments. However, according to Business Today, a passenger said the weather at that time was good and the pilot had also turned off the seatbelt sign while the stewardess was serving food when the plane suddenly went out of control. Civil aviation regulators have instructed the airline to implement several requirements immediately, some of which it'll also mandate to all commercial aircraft operators. Despite finding the crew followed all the correct procedures, the authority wants the airline to enhance its upset and recovery training and reinforce compliance to the abnormal recovery checklist. It's also directing the airline to liaise with Boeing to find the root causes of the problem and implement corrective actions. The exact nature of the pitot-static problem with the April 3rd flight is yet to be determined, and the results will be keenly awaited by the aircraft and airline industry. What do you think of these preliminary findings? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.